All right, just before I go off to sleep, and uh, I just want to get this fresh in my head for a little bit. It's been such a long time, um, and I wish I had. Oh, I'll keep. I'll see if I can uh, find it. I'm. I'm sure I did a before shot, but it was like a from way high up overhead, and then an after shot. So I'll tell you what's been going on relatively quickly here. Um, I'll do a. Uh, I think a much uh, more thorough bit, but. I finished moving um, essentially um, most of the the uh, the Vorsch army. I, I moved uh, the Vorsch army direct. I made a mistake, which I'll talk about in a second. And I just finished moving over. <clears throat> excuse me, the fourth corps. Still got to do the third corps a little bit, but um, I'm just got to say um, von Salza here over here, the fourth army, Russian fourth army general. I mean, let's be honest. The writing is on the wall, guy. Um, it's so every all the Austrian troops that were west of the Visloka here were um, are under um, German control, and I did exactly what I wanted to do and start trying to put the squeeze on uh, the Fourth Army here that are in Kielce and get them the heck out of here. Here's the mistake I made, and I was like, oh damn it! If I just kept my flipping troops there. Uh, so I moved, um, I moved the, the big, uh, a huge amount of infantry over here that, that was um, essentially uh, assaulting uh, the troops over here, uh, the 4th Army headquarters and uh, whatnot in Kielce. Uh, I moved them over to here as I brought in some fresh troops over to here. The problem is I can't move my headquarters because they just uh, received um, some replacement units and whatnot, and I can't have uh, him move, and then uh, I'm not going to be able to do some recon. And they've got to stay. Uh, he's got to stay put. There's been a lot of logistical stuff going on. I don't have time. They don't have time to move around. And remember, this is all broken rail here as well. This is all uh, this is all Russian territory. Haven't converted it yet, so this is not like you know uh, whatever. Anyways, these are, it's uh, these guys are now five hexes away, which means I would have a reduction in my um, effectiveness for um, um, uh, supplying these troops. So I'm not going to do it, uh, which gives these guys a little bit of a pause. However, as you can see, I brought in a ton of the Austro-Hungarian troops over here as much as I can to start trying to envelop them over here. And I've got a nice little uh, continuation over here. Um, all the engineering troops over here, I don't know if you can, yes you can still, good. All the engineering troops that were over here have been brought, uh, incorporated into this uh, group um, and essentially that's just a placeholder here. They're in training here in Katowice until uh, springtime which, uh, and then they'll be converted into uh, what I'm calling um, uh, German trained uh, Austro-Hungarian engineers that will be able to convert um, um, uh, repair German rail and also convert uh, like extend railheads into the Ger uh, into Russian territory for the Germans. That's the way I'm looking at it. That's it for now, really. I'm trying to think of anything else to. Uh, uh, no, the only other thing is like I, I wish I was saying before that uh, um, uh, from a political point of view or a military point of view, and, and it's going to hurt them later on. Um, uh, politically or whatever you want to call it uh, for the Austro-Hungarians. I wish they had played ball and we could have uh, sealed up this nice little line here but they're not going to. They're not bringing anybody tr any troops over there. But later on when it comes uh, push comes to shove and this area becomes the I am assuming uh, what the Germans wanted to do at the time with I think uh, is to turn Poland into an independent of course under the thumb of Germany's but it would still be an independent state and I'm thinking, well, you're not going to have any uh, Austro-Hungarians. are not going to have any uh, say in all this territory that uh, is going on, like Czechoslovakia and whatnot. whatnot. That's sorry, it's just ain't going to happen. So that's it. Uh, I just wanted to uh, have a quick little whatever. Okay, see ya.